come. I have found a good place to observe. Arasaka Industrial Park. We must just climb up here. If you'll excuse me for a second, Takemura, I'm pretty sure this is the kind of place that should have an entry. Jake Jake Street had an entry. Damn. Nothing? We got nothing here? Arasaka Waterfront? Well, I guess not. Okay. What a rebel. How good are you at fighting now? Now, this way. Like, I can't tell. And why haven't they disabled your implants? There's gotta be a back door for all Arasaka employees. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. Rancho Coronado. Uh, the radio is on somewhere. I wouldn't put money on there being nobody here. Can we go nowhere? We're already on ground floor. Oh! Oh, you don't want me to go with you? You want me to go to the roof by myself? Oh, okay. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much? Hmm, perhaps I'm simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. Well, Rancho Coronado was never a nice place anyway, of all the districts. 75 years of cyberware. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? You need a scope? You don't have an eye implant? Hard to imagine you would have worse eyes than me. Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No. Just no. <laughs> if I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. Oh my god. No, even better. With umeboshi plants. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once. Pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar. Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or we'll both grow hungry. Okay. I thought you were gonna cook me a big meal, but you're, you just wanted to make me a freaking rice ball. That's it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Let's do this. Uh, is it worth marking the people right now? We can't anyway. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. No, there is always another way. Got eyes on the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Camouflage turrets by the gate. Oh! A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Yo, there's a mech walking around. Haven't seen one of these since All Foods Factory. With the Maelstromers. 
antenna. Security hub's liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. This is not bad. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Mm-hmm. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. So we probably want to go in stealthily and not aggressively. Because if you go in aggressively at an Arasaka plant, that probably wouldn't go so well. Pipes. See them? We could use them to get inside. Where was that car? Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? They have windows though, can't they see? Armor door. Sealed tight. Seems to be it. Well, I'm fond of, you know, stuff like going in through the pipe. Don't involve human factors when you don't gotta. It seems like a recipe for disaster. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. I'll have you know, that heist would have gone completely well if Saburo didn't come. <laughs> B. What? what? Kitty. No sudden movements. You bought pizza! Do you see it? That cat? What about the cat food I left back at home? I gotta go check too. Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back in echo. I don't think I've read the story about how animals disappeared from Night City. We'll have to find a document sometime about that. A Bakken Echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost. I suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune. Kappa, back in Echo 2. Where'd you grow up in Japan? <laughs> Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I. Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Okay, Chiba 11. The 11 makes me think that Japan probably has similar levels of corpse taking over the world. I don't know what V was like when she was a kid. My childhood? Let's see. Nights spent looking for a star. Any star. All dimmed by city lights. Silent lullabies sung by the flickering neon signs of Charter Hill. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. What, they become soldiers or what? Transporters, you say. Armored and armed. Chiba 11 has the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. 
I guess. So they could turn him into corpo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. And the saddest thing is, he's so happy he got that, even though a child getting to become a soldier is normally not something that anybody would be happy about, but they had no choice. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburo Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, serves in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's a matched eye for talent. <laughs> You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Honestly, at his level, having all 100 bodyguards might not be... It's not out of reach, but I guess there are security concerns because then you have like... Yeah, you have too many security possible... what do you call it? Holes in your system. If just one of these people sell out, then your system's done. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Are V and Jackie arrogant and taking the easy path by stealing stuff from Arasaka for a job? Well, in his eyes, he might view that because he legitimately, quote-unquote legitimately, was rose to the top, so to say. So in his eyes, he might be thinking, wow, these two people are trying to um, cheat their way to the top because they're stealing stuff and just jumping the queue in terms of getting a better life. I disagree with you, but okay. I'm saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So Spill, how'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Sounds like you're the one judging me. <laughs> As a corpo saying that, huh? Well, at this point, maybe my mindset has changed a little bit. Slimming away for a corp. Not exactly everybody's dream. Oh, yes. Because thieving is so much more honorable. At least I'm not fleecing this planet and its people in the name of profit margins. Corporations need capital and resources to keep all in order. Who else is to rule? Corrupt governments? The masses? Attached to feeders? Cynics, nihilists, like you. Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Sadly, this is true. We shouldn't be talking about this before a big mission. There's a little bit of tension here. Your... Okay, you value your principles and stuff, but you know, the rest of us are just trying to live, okay? I don't think you can expect that we have the same value system as you. We don't even... We didn't even grow up in the same continent! Under a different language! Forgetting how is that, Arasaka? Saw how corps operate. Wooden roses and rainbows. You know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. <laughs> I don't think nomads are like that. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos. Whether they're blood or not. Family comes first. Yes, but we need not quibble over details. Do you know what I think? 
What's that? That day in Compeq, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Could be. Could be. But the, the argument we're talking about right now is like you trying to deny my way of life and asserting that yours is the correct way, which I'm not really into. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. No, it's not. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. Bakaneko may be a good sense Johnny, being a spirit. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck. Getting worse. You do not look so bad. You do not look so good as the phrase you're looking for. Okay. Hmm. That was a bit of a... I'm not sure if having that talk right before we were doing this stuff was a good idea, though. That did put a little bit of um, thinking on my mind. Yeah, you were saying that it's the job of the living to atone for the dead? No! No, I think you can just live for yourself. Especially because protecting Saburo was your job. He wasn't even your family. You can say you felt like he was your family, and that's totally valid, but I don't think you need to do anything. We all live for ourselves. You don't have to feel obligated to do this and that. It's a heavy responsibility that you don't need to carry. Oh. Oh, those are lights. I thought they were people. We can try stealing the truck. But stealing the truck with that mm. I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine to do. Well, I mean we could try doing it. Is it gonna be the easiest way in though? Because what's gonna happen once we get inside is a problem too. And how do we steal it just in broad daylight? Whoa 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 whoa! Not sure if that's how that works either. If I just go up to you right now and... Oh, I can't catch up! I missed my chance. Oh, you know what? This is perfect, actually! Remember who's wearing an Arasaka hat? <gasps> Maybe we can cosplay a little bit and make myself look more... Corpo? Different pants? Formal pants! Formal pants. Ah, those don't look that formal to me. The skirt. In the rain? Okay, well, we'll cosplay in our head or something. <laughs> Designer pants. None of these look like I'm going to work, and you know why? It's because of the freaking jacket. The jacket makes it look like I'm not going to work. Corporate pants. Wait, what's the current stats on my... Which one was I using before? This one. Okay, 61? I mean, this one's okay. And it's corporate pants. The issue is my... my, uh, top. I haven't used the other armadillo mod yet, by the way, so I still have that. But none of these make it look like I'm working here. None of them. I'm not gonna put on a freaking bulletproof... <laughs> um... Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we have work clothing with us. Dang, you know what would have been so good? If I brought my freaking corpo outfit back from my closet at home. Ah, oh, dang it, I wish I had that. But you know, for now, we'll just pretend we have that. And I guess I'll use my other armadillo mod as well. Until we can figure out how to craft it and whatever. And then probably I gotta switch out my weapons too. 
What am I using? Divided we stand? I haven't used the Widowmaker for a while. Is it still viable? The damage is not as high. Nah. We can try it. We can try it. It's been a long time. And then we have this and the little baby power pistol. Two power weapons. Can we get a... Pretty sure we had a better pistol. Smart pistol. Yeah, okay, smart pistol. Hmm. Can't, uh, yeah, I think we should be okay. Hey, 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 hey. No, I missed my chance. Yeah, we probably have to steal the truck when it's like turning the corner or something. I feel like people are gonna find out who I am right when I try to go in. Aren't they gonna look at me? There's another one. Probably right around here. No one's really checking me out. Hey, mister! Mister! <gasps> Run the guy over for good measure. <laughs> Let's see. I can't believe they didn't give me a way of honking. Ah. Uh. Come in. Good. Now try to enter the warehouse. I will draw their attention away. Mm, rather clever. That's why I'm here. Very well. I have reached the roof. I'll be in their communication system soon. But are they going to realize it's me as soon as I get out of the car? Maybe let's try to check out everybody. Oh, what the? Everyone's all... I can't mark anybody. Can I not? We have a lot of cameras in here. How come I can't mark everybody? Everybody's green. Oh god, they got a whole squad here. Everything's blocked. Because I didn't take control of the... No, I did. I did. Well... I guess it is what it is, but let's finish looking at the camera first, at least. General look around. The big thing here. Ooh. Oh, oh, AVs. The security hub, the building with the antenna. What about this building? All right. We'll drive around until we can't. You won't let me in anymore? What? Wait, so what's the point of getting a truck then? All we got through was the very first barrier. You're kidding me. But if I come out now, aren't they gonna realize I'm not the truck driver? Oh man, I thought we could drive the truck all the way in at least, but we're like at the very barrier outside. We barely got in. Well, good old sneaking it is. Give me a bigger chance to look around anyway. Can't be a bad thing. The guy's on his phone. Oh. Maybe I can try to distract him. With his own computer? Oh shit. Uh. 
Thank you. Okay, that guy was kind of looking, though. Ah, but we have the monitors here. It's blocking it. Great. Thank you. Thank you. I don't hate you, so I'll let you live. Unless if you attack me or something. So I would really, really recommend you guys don't try attacking me. Please. What? There's nothing here! Why'd I come here then? Oh my god. <laughs> if we really want to be sneaky, I mean, I feel like generally there's two ways to be sneaky. Stealthily take down everybody, or ignore everybody. Ignoring everybody is more ghost-like, but taking down everybody is... safer? Well, it should be anyway. But the thing is, if we knock down somebody and the body gets found, that's one way we can be alerted too, so maybe I'll... I'll just leave that guy alone. That might be the better bet here. If all things go well, it shouldn't matter anyway. I feel really unsafe when I don't know where everybody is, though. Because, yeah, we know there's actually so many freaking people here. I don't know why, but sometimes I can tag people, sometimes I can't. Just kind of depends on the luck of a draw. Jesus, there's like a freaking clump there. There's a used max stock thingy here. Hey, maybe I wasn't the only person who was trying to get in. Someone there. Who's looking? It wants me to go there? What is that? Really? Okay. Okay. Oh, this is just a way for me to... But that guy, I don't think we should mess with him. No, getting inside the warehouse. This is not the warehouse. What is this doing? No, 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 no. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll get in another way. I kind of want to check out the tower with the antenna, too. I think it's supposed to be the communication station or the security station. Oh, but if we open the door, if we force it open, he might hear. Because it's got the little yellow triangle. Let me just try making it over to that station first. There's got to be goodies inside. In the end, we're back outside to the very entrance. Didn't even need the truck. There's something purple there. Oh my lord. <laughs> fell straight off. It's so rainy tonight. Not a good night to be a guard on patrol. Holy crap, there's people everywhere. who works the third guard shift at a warehouse outside town. You'll have to make do, and the children will have to make do with the school we can afford. 
Is he talking to his wife? Tough being a guard, huh? Tough living in Night City. Tough being alive in general. So I'm not gonna kill you. Hey, there's a security camera right here. Can I get it? Uh, okay, I'll keep it in mind. I remember you. Generally, I feel like downing people by the window is not a good idea. Just because it feels like... They're gonna be seen. Let me get the other guy first, and then I'll look around. Frick. I can't, he's sitting down. How about that? Proceeding to secure the area. Good. How come kill and non-lethal takedown are different? One has a triangle, the other one doesn't. For some reason. By the way, looking at that quick hack. Somebody mentioned that the ping that I have in my inventory is better than the one I have right now. I thought they were all the same, but no, they're not. Ping. Duration 65 seconds, upload time 1 second. Oh, whoa, okay, so it's like longer, it lasts way longer. Okay, oh, because the ping, this one is epic, that's why. Great, thank you for letting me know. And then the reboot optics, this one's green. Yeah, this one's longer too. Okay, great. Wow, I actually have so many just sitting around here, I didn't even realize. Short circuit, do I have a better one? Synapse Burnout! Legendary! Legendary. But it seems like this one's better though, because it says 600 or 786, and this one's 1000 damage per second. That seems really different. Why is it so different? Anyway, we shouldn't be thinking about this right now. Memory wipe might be good for stealthing, although technically... I noticed that the current objective doesn't even say to stealth. We're doing it right now because it feels like it fits, but it doesn't actually say, hey, you have to stealth. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't be too worried about that. Avian Extermination Act. The AEA was adopted by the Night City Council on May 4, 2063. In the face of increasingly frequent and deadly zoonotic disease outbreaks, the city council has decided that the most effective method for reducing the risk of infection among residents is via extermination of all birds within 18 miles of city limits. The extermination process will begin on four days later, three days later, once the call and selection of tenders for the contract have been completed. I think we just figured out what happened to all the animals in Night City. Seriously though? Well, that one only talked about birds, avians. But that's still insane. How can you just kill all the birds? Does the ecosystem even work like that? I would have thought that killing off one... one part of the cycle of life would really mess things up, even for humans. Oh, oh can we restart? This one, I want an easier one. Maybe there's like a separate animal act too. Oops. Okay. Special delivery. From somebody to Shigeru Koizumi. Little bro, I've had it up to here with this operation. We're still stationed in Anasirija. Radiation is the highest in the entire region. If you hadn't gotten us these suits, we'd be literal toast. Seriously. Probably have to scrape us off the rocks. As a snazzy reward, I'm sending you some top shelf tech and Arasaka Shingen. Nobody's gonna notice one item gone missing. Transport leaves tomorrow. Check container 667. Love ya, little man. Maybe something I should remember? 667? Holy freaking god, 33 devices. Turn it all off. Why does it say 3? Oh no. Still want your money. Ah, give me a 55 to begin with at least, come on. 7A... Yay! And then upstairs... 
Guess leaving you here should be okay. Where's your taco? I want the taco. Another taco? Where is it? It keeps saying there's a taco somewhere. <laughs> Tame Dragon, Yorinobu Arasaka. Yeah, we read this one. It's about how Yorinobu had a rebellious streak and went through being a nomad and stuff. First child to Saburo Arasaka's third wife, Michiko. Wait, so Saburo Arasaka had three wives, three at the minimum, and three children. Do all his children have different moms? I feel like there's probably some, like, I feel like there should be some hierarchical disputes in that case, too. Like, who's the oldest one? They should be taking care of the business. So on and so forth. Regression shard? Right. Veggie delight paste? Ew, that sounds disgusting! I want to eat the actual food, I don't want to eat a paste. Anyway, no time for ads. How come... Hmm. Where do you want me to go? There? I wanna look- What? What the hell just happened? 